A typist uses a sheet measuring 20 cm by 30 cm lengthwise. If a margin of 2 cm is left on each side and a 3 cm margin on top and bottom, then what is the percentage of paper used for typing? So you have a paper measuring 20 cm by 30 cm. So the breadth is 20 cm and the length is 30 cm. Now this shaded area is the printing area. Now we have left some margins on the left and right. Now what is the length of this margin? Well a margin of 2 cm is left on each side. So you know 2 cm on the left and 2 cm on the right. So what will be the length of this printing area? Well 20 minus 4 and that's 16. Now a margin of 3 cm is left on top and bottom. So 3 cm on top and 3 cm on bottom. So total 6 cm of margin is left. Now what will be the vertical length of the printing side, printing area? That will be 30 minus 6 and that's 24. Okay. Now let us find out what is the total area of this paper. So total area is equals to length into breadth. That's 20 times 30 and that is 600. Now let's calculate the area of the printing surface. Right. So let it be A2. It is equals to 16 times 24 and that is 384 centimeter square. This should be centimeter square. Okay, now we have the two areas. We want what is the percentage of the paper used for typing. That means, you know, the typing area upon the total area of the paper and we want the percentage. So, percentage will be equals to A2 upon A1 times 100, right? So, 384, 600 times 100, these zeros get cancelled out. 384 divided by 6 is 64 percent and that's the answer option C what will be the cost of gardening one meter broad boundary around a rectangular plot having perimeter of 340 meters at the rate of 10 rupees per square meter so assume that this green rectangle that is the inner rectangle is the garden and there is a you know a boundary of one meter around it. Let us consider the length of this inner green rectangle be L and the breadth be B. Right? Now what will be the length of the outer rectangle? Well one meter extra on the right hand side and one meter extra on the left hand side. So basically the length of the outer rectangle will be L plus 2 and in the same way the breadth will be B plus 2. Okay. Now we have been given that the perimeter of the plot that is the garden is 340 meters. So I can say that you know what is the formula for perimeter that's twice of L plus B and that is been given as 340 meters. Let it be as it is. Now to calculate the cost of gardening the boundary of this garden, you will have to first calculate what is the area of this boundary. So how will you calculate that? Well, if you subtract the area of inner rectangle from the outer rectangle, you will get the area of this boundary. Well, what is the area of inner rectangle? That's LB. What is the area of outer rectangle? That's L plus 2 times B plus 2, length into breadth. So you are subtracting the area of inner rectangle from the area of outer rectangle. So this will give you the area of this shaded gray region. So this will be equals to, you have LB plus twice L plus twice B plus 2 times 2 is 4, minus this LB. This and this gets cancelled out. What you have here is twice of L plus B if I take 2 common plus 4 and that's you know this value that's 340 so 340 plus 4 and that's 344 square meters right so this is the area now you have been given the per square meter 
cost of gardening and that's 10 rupees per square meter so the cost that is the total cost will be the total area times this you know per unit cost so 344 times 10 and that's 3440 rupees so option C is the correct answer a 2 meters broad pathway is to be constructed around a rectangular plot on the inside the area of the plot is 96 square meters. The rate of construction is rupees 50 per square meters. Find the total cost of the construction. So you have a situation like this. This green shaded region is the pathway. And you have been given the area of the rectangular plot. Let the length and breadth of this rectangular plot be L and B. Okay. So L times B is given as 96. Let it be as it is. Now what will be the length of the inner rectangle? Well, you have 2 meters on the right hand side and 2 meters on the left hand side. You have left that much of space. So this will be L minus 4 and the breadth will be in the same way B minus 4. Okay. Now to calculate the cost of construction, you will have to first calculate the area of this green shaded region. So how will you calculate that? Well, outer rectangle's area minus inner rectangle's area. So that will be L times B, the outer rectangle's area. So LB minus the inner rectangle's area will be L minus 4 times B minus 4. So L minus 4 times B minus 4. Okay that will give you the area of this green region so lb minus l times b so lb minus 4l minus 4b plus 4 4 is a 16 right so you have lb minus lb plus 4l plus 4b minus 16 okay so lb and lb gets cancelled out what you have is you can take 4 common 4 L plus B minus 16. Now you need the value of L plus B and you don't have that. So you cannot go ahead. So basically the data here is inadequate. So you cannot solve this question. So option D would be the appropriate choice.